Good day, good people. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about ternary operators and a cool thing called spaceship operator. Sounds very special when in fact it's just a short form for an if else statement. Let's dive right into it and get started. So, I prepared something for you. Here we go. Here we have the slide for this day's lecture, the ternary operator. Here you see how it works. It's an expression, then we check if it's true, and we check whether it's false, and assign a value to our variable. Very easy, we'll see that in practice now how it works. I, pre I prepared something for you guys here. And we set A to 5, we set B to 6, and this is how we print that out. All right, first, let me show you the long version. Now, we want to test whether A is smaller than B, okay? Very easy, so we, we go. If A is smaller than the variable B, curly brackets, then echo, or not, let's not echo out, let's assign the value, the, the variable var to A. Okay, if A is smaller than B, which it is, set var to A, else set it to B. Okay, so far so good. So this would be the whole if statement. Okay, so you see one, two, three, four, five or four and a half lines of code. And we can put this all together in this short ternary operator. Alrighty, so let's comment out the if statement so we have a clearer view on our ternary operators here. Alrighty, so the variable, just so you see it works, prints out A. Here we check, by the way, the parentheses are very important here, so we have to put them around the statement, around the expression, okay? Here you go. Expression is A smaller than B. Question mark. So that is the expression to be tested. It's a pretty intuitive sign, I think. And then the first one is the value if true. The second one is the value if false. So just to see that this works, let's switch this around so the expression becomes false. And then we refresh and obviously we get a B. All right. Simple as that. Now, what's the advantage of ternary logic? Well, there's uh, some valuable advantages to do this kind of coding because it makes coding a little simpler and decoding a logic quicker as well. Well, the problem here is, of course, that it's, it's not as intuitive as an if statement. You can't read it as an English text because it takes some time to get used to this kind of um, writing code, all right? So I'd highly recommend you start learning the if statements and if you're familiar with that, you can go to the ternary operators. And um, it makes coding shorter, that's another advantage. You see, it's just one line of code compared to five lines, so that's, that's pretty decent. And well, of course, maintaining code uh, becomes a little quicker too. So, I also have some tips for you because um, you can obviously you can nest several ternary operators within another and I, I highly recommend you don't do that in the beginning if you do it just do it with those simple statements otherwise you might get confused in the end what your code is supposed uh, to, to say okay alrighty let's keep going I have something else for you in this rather short lecture and this is the spaceship operator sounds cool doesn't it okay let's check out what that does well basically it's a simple comparison between two um, between two variables so we check in this example let's just take our variable one open the uh, pointy bracket two equal signs close it again and then we check our B okay and now if you refresh, it doesn't do anything. Well, obviously it doesn't because we didn't assign it to a value, okay? So let's start again. Variable equals this test. Still get an error here. 
Why do I get an error on land 7? Unexpected double error. Oh, sorry, it's just one error. Here we go. Okay. Then we echo out var and see it's smaller than 1. Guess you didn't expect that unless you read what uh, was written in the slide because this tests two variables and it looks which one is bigger. If the first one is bigger, wait, let me make that a little larger for you, it returns 1. If the first one is bigger, it returns 0 if they're equal and it returns plus 1 if the second one is bigger. In this case, we have lesser one, so that means that the second variable is bigger. Let's check exactly b is 6 and a is just 5. So this is a simple comparison operator and I think um, the, the name alone is worth to, for it to be used. But honestly, I've never used it in my life, but it's a neat, it's a neat thing. I mean, you, you could use it if you had two simple variables and you want to compare them and test which one is bigger. That's, I mean, it's the, sh the shortest if statement that you can get here. All right. Okay, people, that's it for today. I have an exercise for you because I try to implement that in my lectures so you learn something for yourself as well. Create two variables, a and b, assign any, any value to them. It's important that it's not the same value, okay? Don't take uh, five and five and don't take strings. This is about numbers, okay? This is a numbers game. Then check for equality and print out something with the ternary operator, okay? We saw it in the beginning of the lecture. If you didn't write it long, then you might not see it right now, which is perfect. So just pause the video and try to do what we did in the beginning. My advice to you is if you're new to this, write it out as an if statement. Write the whole if statement to check whether you got the logic. Check if a is bigger than b and then assign a variable to a certain value and then put an else statement. And then when you have that, uh, when you have gotten that straight, put it in a ternary operator kind of way. Okay. All right, people, that's it. Let's wrap it up here. I wish you a good day and I see you in the next lecture.